Anyone who plays horror video games knows that one of the things that makes a good horror video game is the creepy factor. Well, recently we don't have much of those video games. But if we take a look back, in the last few months we had Silent Hills PT, a project that was directed by Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro. It was a very good game and it was really creepy, but sadly the project was cancelled by Konami, the company that was going to publish this video game. What if I tell you that there is another video game that took the creepy factor to a whole new level? Yeah, I got you excited, so let's check the game. Hello Bitlanders, it's Taro from Bitland X channel and welcome to this video game quick news. Sad Satan is the name of the video game that first surfaced on the Obscure Horror Corner channel on YouTube. According to James, the owner of the Obscure Horror Corner channel, he received a link from one of his subscribers to download the video game from the deep web. If you don't know what the deep web is, you can think of it as the hidden part of the internet iceberg. It's the part of the internet that you cannot access through any search engine such as Google or Yahoo or any other one. So James ran a malware check on the file, the file seemed okay, he downloaded it, installed the video game and he started playing it to be surprised by the most creepiest video game ever. First, there is something that I want to take out of the way. The technical part of Sad Satan is the furthest from impressive. It seems like uh, something that any video game developer can make in one day. But whoever made this video game is an expert on creepy. The visual, the audio and the context all mixed together give you one hell of creepy video game. As you can see on the screen, basically all you do is wander around in a black and white maze walking toward where it seems as a door. But the maze keeps on changing and you keep being teleported from one place to another. There is no soundtrack except the sound of your footsteps and some strange distorted voices which very much sounds like children's voices then the voices turn into growls you keep walking until you get teleported somewhere else every time the maze changes and grows weirder and weirder then at some point some images start to flash for a split seconds then you go back to the hallway images like this one which reminds me of Hannibal a TV show a TV show about psychiatrist who eats people Okay, maybe there's no reference to the TV show. Still, this image was taken in the Czech Republic at the residence of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, an avid hunter and a guy whose assassination started the World War I. The internet discovered that the man in the picture is Franz Joseph, the ninth Prince of Thorn. And here's another image which shows Jimmy Savile with Margaret Thatcher promoting the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. NSPCC. Maybe this video game is about assassination and child abuse. Well, I don't really think so, because I think that the second image was used for the irony of it. Because in the image, Jimmy Savile himself was accused by so many child abuse assaults. That was the first part of the video game. A few days later, the second part of the video game appeared. Basically, it's the same with different images flashing every now and then, some of the images were related to the Kennedy assassination, some of them represented the Bifflemet, which represents I think the satanic god, and there was many dialogues playing backwards, which sounds really disturbing, and it really creates a creepy atmosphere in the game. Well, if you don't think that this video game can get any weirder, then you're obviously wrong. In the second part, while you're wandering in the maze, you meet what it seems to be child-sized beings, which I really do believe that they represent children. So it really makes you ask the question, what the hell is going on in this video game? Is it about child abuse? Is it against child abuse? Or is it promoting child abuse? So I'm gonna ask you the same question again. Do you think that this video game can get any weirder? I think that you guessed right this time. It's gonna get weirder than that. In the second part, while you are playing, some sort of a coded writing started flashing the screen. A Reddit user was able to decode the writings, which goes something like this. I can track you. Good luck. Buried kill, kill, and kill again, you are on my list, five victim, hail 666, and said people died. This is one of the moments of the video game which leave you in what the hell moment. 
Is it just a game? Because right now it's getting way too weird for a video game. What are we dealing with? Is it just a bad joke? Is it a psychopath? Are we dealing with a serial killer? Too many questions and no answers. So, you think that this video game can get any weirder? <laughs> As you guessed, a third video of the game was uploaded to the channel. And playing through the third part, the player is forced to listen to the Charles Manson gave from San Quentin to NBC in the 1980s. If you don't know who Charles is, Charles is a killer, a psychopath, a racist psychopath to be more specific, who believed in some sort of apocalyptic racist war between the black and white people. And it doesn't stop there, because along the way you keep listening on a loop to the key phrase of Charles, which goes something like this. If I start murdering people, there would be none of you left. Which ranks high on the creepy scale. While playing the video game, at some part you're gonna be listening to a part of the Led Zeppelin song Stairways to Heaven. And many people believe that if you play that part in reverse, it's gonna sound something like this. Oh, here's to my sweet Satan, the one whose little path would make me sad. Whose power is Satan? He will give those with him sex, sex, sex. There was a little tool shed where he makes us sad. Sad Satan. So I believe this is where the name of the video game came from, Sad Satan. I know that there is a lot of you who once played this video game, but there is no sign of the original link that uh, James downloaded the video game from. Still, it seems like a copycat has appeared with a video game named Sad Satan. If you're gonna go ahead and download the copycat video game, I should warn you ahead, because the file includes a lot of gore and child porn images, and many of the people who downloaded the file are suffering from a lot of computer issues and problems. It seems like it's some sort of a satanic virus. So what are we dealing with here? What's the purpose of the video game? Who made it and why? Many of you must be wondering what happened at the end of this video game. Well, the only person who played this video game is James, and he didn't finish it, because somewhere in the middle he thought that the video game has turned into something way too weird for him to play, and he just stopped there and deleted the video game and the file. And he stated that there was some sort of a notepad file that keeps on appearing on his desktop every time he plays the video game. So I guess we will never know how said Satan will end. There's a lot of questions about said Satan, and we cannot have any answers at least for now. There's a lot of theories about the Sad Satan video game. Some say that James, the owner of the channel, is the one who made the video game. Some people say it's not true, and some say that the original link he offered to download the video game from the deep web isn't correct because it includes the number 9, which you don't find usually in links or URLs in the deep web. There's a lot of theories out there, and no one can confirm or deny any of them. Maybe not knowing the truth about said Satan is for the best for us all. Again, as I said, there's a ton of questions about said Satan, and we're not sure about anything. But the only thing that I'm sure about that Sad Satan has already turned into some sort of a horror video game urban legend. So what do you think about it guys? Let me know in the comments below if you have any informations or leads or some discoveries you made about Sad Satan. Let me know because I'm very interested. That's all for today. If you like the video, like and share and subscribe for more videos. Have a creepy day.